first of all explain what intellectual property is not because there are a lot of misconceptions about intellectual property. It's a word that people misunderstand and really don't get often. So we look at what, the, what IP is not. It is not just patents. Intellectual property rights are not just patents. Patents is the heavy end of intellectual property rights. The most expensive right to get, but it's only one of the different intellectual property rights. You also have brands, trademarks, service marks. You have copyright, and copyright will protect sculptures, it will protect books written by J.K. Rowling about Harry Potter, but it will also protect engineering drawings, it will protect computer software. You then have trade secrets. Trade secrets really are the principal asset of most companies because trade secrets, what their employees know, what their directors know, are protected as an intellectual asset. You also have plant patents. You have seed patents. You have protection for things that are owned by the likes of Charon Pokfand in Thailand. Very big agri-company. Agri and they have a lot of patents on particular seed varieties, particular plant varieties. You also have protection for design. So if you look at the iPhone, the iPhone isn't only protected by patents in the United States and many other countries around the world, but is also protected by registered designs. And it's that very clever design that is a lot of why people want an iPhone. So if you look at the iPhone, you have trademark protection for the word iPhone. You have design protection for the design of the product. And then the guts, the inside of it, is pro protected by dozens and dozens of patents. So intellectual property is much broader than merely patents. In fact, I call it these days the invisible gold of most successful businesses in the 21st century. The, the answer is some of them really understand the importance of intellectual property, but many of them do not. And that's not just Asia, that's globally. There is a perception, certainly in Asia, that intellectual property rights, oh, they belong to European and American companies and perhaps a few Japanese companies, but it's not really us. But that's just not true. <clears throat> Once you start scraping below the surface, many Asian companies actually have very valuable intellectual property and they exploit it. You look at Jollibean. Jollibean has registered trademarks all around the region. They have registered the registered logo and that's a very valuable intellectual property right. You look at other countries, you look at China. Huawei, which is now the number one international patent applicant globally, is starting to play the intellectual property game. You look at Geely. Geely just acquired Volvo cars. Why did it acquire Volvo cars? Because of the technology, because of the worldwide brand that Volvo is. You move over to India and you look at Tata. Tata, why did they acquire Jaguar and Land Rover? Because of the trademarks, because of the technology that that company owned in the automotive sector. You look at Thailand, Charon Pokfand, I've already mentioned. You look at, you, not, you look at various palm oil companies in Thailand and in Malaysia. They have patents on particular methods of getting um, products out of palm oil. All around Asia, in fact, there are these invisible gold reserves, but people are starting now to realize the importance of using those intellectual property rights and acquiring their own to prevent competitors moving in on their particular space. There is no doubt that intellectual property will become more and more important in the business of a 21st century company because the cost of the manufacturing element of a product or a service is being gradually pushed closer and closer to zero as people offshore to China, to India, to Vietnam, to Indonesia. And so the way that businesses will separate themselves from their competitors is through their trademarks, 
through their technology protected by patents, through their copyright and their designs. And so inevitably, intellectual property rights are going to become more important. <laughs>